Despite a difficult childhood, Fritz Butzer has become a skilled baker, confectioner, and chocolatier. He's driven by a dream to be his own master, to not have to depend on anyone. And now he's come to England to seek his fortune, but he's lost the letter promising him a job. He finds himself at Bradford Railway Station, penniless and unable to speak a word of English. And he's not even sure he's in the right town. Chapter 3. Fritz makes a name for himself. I've travelled right across France and now across most of England too, with more good luck than calculation. Now I'm in Bradford, a town of 450,000 in the north. I found a confectionery business called Bonnet, which was owned by a Swiss, and he gave me a job. Maybe I will stay a while. Bradford is a huge, prosperous city, the wool capital of the world. Fritz feels that he has found a home for himself, not simply in Bradford, but in Yorkshire. It isn't flat like the countryside around Paris, it's hilly, and that speaks to him, to his heart. In some way, it reminds him of home. The First World War breaks out, and soon after, Fritz becomes a British citizen. And that isn't the only change. He starts styling himself as Frederick Belmont, chocolate specialist. It sounds more refined, he thinks. An assignment for Farrers, the toffee people, brings him to Harrogate. Seeking lodgings, he knocks on a door. The landlord's daughter, Claire Appleton, opens it. It's love at first sight. He takes her punting on the River Nid and for romantic walks. In 1916, they marry. Frederick is very fond of Harrogate. It's a spa of the First Order, he says. And somewhere along the way, a little seed is planted. Frederick has always wanted to be his own master. Perhaps Harrogate is the place to finally make that dream come true. 